Good Tuesday morning. It is quarter after 10 in suburbs of Chicago. I'm Andrew back again for the weekly garden update. Um, it's a little cooler today than it has been uh, the previous couple days, so which is nice. It's about 75 degrees this morning. Uh, a little later, so we'll see that the sun is almost on all of the garden box now. Have some cool things to share. Uh, not a ton, should be a quicker one. Uh, and then we can compare uh, this one from last week. So let's take a look. All right, so here's the garden box, almost all in sun. Uh, some cool things I want to point out um, are the sugar snap peas. Uh, so you remember there were flowers before, and sure enough, there are the sugar snap peas. Um, so I've been reading up on when you can harvest them, um, and they're, they're pretty close. You don't want them uh, where there are peas developed. If you had regular peas, um, you would want where there was a kind of the bulbous spheres within the pea pod. Uh, but with the sugar snap peas, you can eat the pod itself in addition to the peas. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then here's some more. Look, I'm just dangling there in the wind uh, with the little spindles. I love that. Uh, kind of how that little plant spins off. Um, but you, if your memory is good, uh, you can remember how they were pretty much up to here before. And then I think they, either the weight of the peas or the weight of the vines just kind of toppled them over. Um, so other stuff to point out in the garden. Uh, looking a little sparse in ways. I uh, keep trying to pull out the arugula, uh, which bolted. Uh, and as you recall from last week, that means it went to flower and it was done growing. But there continue to be some little ones that I missed. Uh, so they were either tucked away under the shade of other leaves um, or just kind of still growing. So uh, this is probably week seven, I think, for the garden. Um, and uh, earlier this week, uh, I kind of got a little overwhelmed uh, with all of this because um, uh, I think I may have put too much in the box. Um, so we have uh, the lettuce down here, uh, sugar snap peas over here. Uh, the radishes used to be here, those are gone. The arugula was scattered in here, that's kind of gone. Uh, we have the beets here, those are growing pretty well still. Uh, kale, I keep harvesting off uh, for different dinners and uh, snacking away at it, getting my, my fiber and my iron. Um, oh, some other cool things I meant to point out. Uh, here is a poblano pepper. Uh, so you remember there were flowers before. Uh, fast forward one week till today, and now we have little peppers. Um, we'll try and dig in here a little bit. Um, this little guy, this is the uh, bell pepper. It's supposed to be a red bell pepper. Still very short. Um, I put Miracle Grow on the garden, and you can see there's a little pepper growing. I, don't, I think you can see that. Uh, if the pepper grows to size, it'll be the size of the entire plant. Um, so that, that's not great, but we'll keep an eye on it, and hopefully it'll it'll shoot up and start growing. Um, I haven't found any string beans yet. Uh, we see we have the purple flowers, uh, but I've yet to see any um, string beans develop. Um, then we have the zucchini. These huge leaves uh, continues to grow. I have to figure out a way to get it to grow outside of the box. Um, and then some other stuff to look at. Uh, tomatillos, we have a bunch of buds. Um, we see the little buds in there all around the plant. Um, so that continues to grow. Um, I'm about six feet tall, so the tomatillo is maybe about four feet tall. And then uh, two of the tomato plants are growing really well. Uh, so those are almost about five feet tall. Uh, this one here and this one over here. Um, and then in here is the third tomato plant. Um, that one's not as tall, but it's kind of bushy and getting unwieldy so I have to get a cage for it and somehow get it wrangled. Um, so that's most of the garden update. I had taken out there were um, some little tomatoes that grew from seed uh, in here and I transported them if you'll come with me uh, over here um, into a different pot. So these were all from seed um, and it was getting really crowded in there so I figured get them out of there and give them a shot to grow. So uh, little little sprouts, we'll see if they grow. Uh, the white crushed stuff, if you're curious, um, is crushed eggshell. Um, so uh, tomatoes need calcium and eggshells have calcium. So if you have 
eggshells from your breakfast or omelet or whatever you were making, uh, you can crush them up and put them in the soil to provide some nutrients for the tomato plants. Um, so we'll see if these take off and continue to grow. Uh, there are what, probably five in here, um, far more than the pot should handle. Um, but we'll see if they grow and if they continue to develop, I can move them into another pot. Uh, I'm trying to hedge my bet with the tomatoes. Uh, I really love tomatoes, so having eight plants uh, should be enough uh, until I get all the mouth sores. Um, so those are the tomatoes um, in this pot. It looks like nothing now, but uh, I'm trying again, growing some herbs from seed, uh, basil, oregano, and chives, um, because I know this little basil plant will not be enough for all the pesto I will consume this summer. Um, so we see the this is basil, this one here, and that's oregano. Uh, the oregano is starting to flower, so I should probably nip those off so it continues to produce leaves instead of flowers. Um, that's pretty much the garden update uh, for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, check out thenaturalbasics.com as always uh, for information on what I'm eating, what I'm doing, uh, different events. Uh, should have a post up later this week on how to do laundry. Uh, I went to a cool event last week. Uh, so that is it uh, for now on this sunny Tuesday morning. Uh, thanks for joining and be sure to check out the blog, drop me a note, and uh, have a great week everybody. Take care. See you next week.